This is my method for making two types of hare's ear dubbing, one for the thorax of the fly, which includes a lot of guard hairs from the ears, and one that works better for the abdomen, made from the softer hair and under fur on the rest of the mask. Always begin by snipping off and discarding as many whiskers as possible. I then use long bladed tying scissors to cut free the multicolored guard hairs from the front edge of one ear. Snip all the way down to the hide and go the full length of the ear. Separate the trimmed off fur into a separate little pile. Next, I'll use a manscaper to work my way down one side of the mask. When I have about four times the fur that I collected from the ear, I'll stop trimming. Then pull a third of that freshly trimmed fur from the rest and set it aside with the hair from the ear. I'll combine the two and place them in a small coffee grinder. A few quick pulses is all it takes to blend them into a spiky yet easily dubbed clump of dubbing. This is what I use for the thorax of hare's ear nymphs and wets. I'll then blend the remaining two-thirds of the mask dubbing in the coffee grinder. It's slightly lighter in color than the first batch and there's quite a bit more of it. This will be used for the abdomens on my hare's ears.